Wow! Oh, gee, it's the OG's action. I want to show you one of the best evenings I had. My grandchildren read this book to me. One of the precious hours of my life are spent with my grandchild reading to me. I think that I shall treasure these hours more than any other. They are momentously, beautifully, and well, I will retain them forever and ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed it tremendously. May you read this to your family. I think it is charming. What can you tell us about the story? You're picking the wrong time for me to... All I can tell you is do not give up on it. It is a charming. Your family will love it. Is it a love story? Yes, it is. It's a charming story. You will love it. Your family will love it. They will remember it all their lives that their grandparent took the time out to read to them. Does it make you cry, this book? Pardon me? Does this book make you cry? That's really... It's moving. It is moving. What kind of books make you cry? What? What kind of books make you cry? <laughs> it used to be Black Beauty. Really? I, I remember sitting over Black Beauty and crying and thinking my mother is probably thinking there's something wrong with that girl. How did you feel about horses? So much more about kittens and doggies. Oh, did somebody say kittens? <laughs> Here's a kitten. Hi, kitten. How are you? Hello. You beautiful cat. Do you think the kitten would like the notebook? You want to read to her? <laughs> Do you think um, you would like it? I'm too jealous. No, say that. Is it for some other child? Save it for some other grandmother who doesn't, isn't lucky enough to have grandchildren like mine. Everybody doesn't have a family like mine. I am the luckiest woman I know. Really. Some of my friends have have family like mine. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. You share, you share all your good stuff with me, and some of the not so sort of good stuff. But all I get is the good stuff. The other stuff you hide under a carpet rug. We brought you a cat. We brought you a kitten. The kitten's not so good sometimes. It's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. And Kim is usually enthralled with it. She has not to go of that cat for one second. <laughs> this is a story that heads back 14 years previously. A young couple who fell in love at their youth and how are reacquainted. All that happens is they re recognizes the qualities that they have missed in each other. Do you think it's possible to reignite an old flame? Definitely. I do think so. Always, and women will always remember their first love and always treasure that particular feeling. You could never 
dismiss it from your heart. It's always back there. And to reacquaint it after 14 years, that's a phenomenal period of time. And, and you can be very vulnerable. I think it's a charming story. Everybody should read it. Well, we're in the middle of it. They've just been reunited. Do you think they'll end up together? If they don't, I should be very disappointed. We'll check back with you to see how you liked the rest of the story. Pardon? We'll check back with you to see how you liked the rest of the story. Okay. Okay. So far, I love the author. It is a charming story to be written by a man. There are parts that I can't believe are written by a man. I would swear that a woman had written it. But whatever it is, I would love to meet a man like him. <laughs> okay. We'll try to arrange that. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. Thank you. Oh, wow! Oh, gee, it's the OG's.